Good morning, everybody. My name's Mark Stainton, uh, and I'm the Director of Adult Social Care and Health. And I'm really pleased to be talking to you today uh, on International Social Work Day, which is a celebration that's now been running for several decades. But World Social Work Day in its current form, which is held on the third Tuesday of March every year, is, is now in its 15th year. And that's something worth celebrating on its own. Talking of celebration, World Social Work Day is, for me and many other people, a celebration of social work throughout the globe. And it looks to highlight the achievements of social work practitioners, embrace the core values and ethics of rights, dignity, and the importance of human connection and relationships, whilst also raising the profile of how local authorities support people in their local communities. And I've got a practical example uh, of that in, in a moment. In difficult times, it can sometimes feel strange to talk about celebrations, but hundreds of our staff who work every day to greet, engage with, and provide professional assessment and develop plans for the individuals in our community to maintain their independence really do deserve to celebrate the difference they make to the lives of so many people they come into contact with. These are relationships that really matter, however brief, however challenging. The role of social work is dramatic in the lives of people who need us. And it is actually today, when it's World Social Work Day, um, and after you've heard from me, we'll be joining our colleagues in children's services to continue this conference and hear from Professor Brid Featherstone, where she'll speak about poverty aware practice across the life course. Helpful and hopeful conversation. And now more than at any other time, we know that the effects on individuals of the cost of living crisis is devastating. And this is an opportunity for us to consider how social work practice might need to adjust and develop to recognise this impact because it won't be going away uh, for the foreseeable future. Within the County Council, within Adult Social Care, we've got a week's programme of events this year. So it's not just World Social Work Day. For us, it's Adult Social Care Social Work Week. Um, there'll also be an opportunity to explore poverty aware pra practice in more detail, as well as sessions on transitional safeguarding, the wellbeing principle, and a special social work mindfulness session tomorrow, which I, I really do recommend. Let me give you an example of, and it's only one example of, of the reason that I think social work is so important and so valued by the council, but also, and more importantly, the, the community. I can sit here and praise and respect you as I do. Um, but I think there's probably more value in hearing from uh, a member of the public, someone whose lives have been touched um, by the work that we do, that you do every single day. <clears throat> and in this case, the worker was sensitive and caring and gave the client and her family all the time they needed, despite being incredibly busy. They were able to put in a package of care when the client needed it and kept her where she wanted to be for as long as possible. And it made her last days as positive as they could be for her and her family. So, so the story is um, the, the individual or, or the individual's family contacted social services. Uh, their, their parent had, was not very mobile and had some serious memory issues. They contacted social services uh, at the start of this year and received a call back from a social worker uh, who visited their mother uh, that day. The social worker spent uh, just over an hour chatting with, with the mother, quietly working out what her needs were in a really calm and, and, and relaxed way. Um, the, the client was adamant that she didn't want respite care but the family weren't in a position to look after her and support her full time. So the social worker was, in their words, considerate and incredibly understanding. 
and amazingly arranged for emergency carers to come in three times a day almost immediately and then full time carers for the week after that. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks later, um, the, the mother was admitted to hospital uh, and, and sadly passed away two days afterwards. And the social worker actually rang up to see how mother was getting on uh, and were, was very saddened to hear the news and was so considerate. These are the words of, of the family. They wanted to say and inform me to pass on a huge thank you uh, for the amazing job in helping their mother. Um, everyone they spoke to at social services was kind, considerate and very helpful. And they go on to say it's so reassuring to know that while our road and rail system continues to crumble away and that the NHS is struggling to survive, that social services teams are still there to support us in our hour of need. And that could be any one of you doing your job today, yesterday or, or tomorrow. So the recognition and the appreciation uh, of the people we support and their family members is is worth a million uh, and uh, why we all do this this work as well. They go on to say that the social worker was amazing um, and they weren't sure if we have any awards for social workers, but they certainly deserve one. What an incredibly kind hearted and understanding person. Um, now, again, this year, adult social care has decided not to hold a social work awards ceremony. And this is a deliberate decision as we want you to hear from this, that there is no single person or team who is doing this work better than anyone else. You're all doing a fantastic job. And it is in the group task, the shared vision that is to be celebrated. And on this very special day, uh, I just really want to thank you all for your commitment and compassion within your social work for East Sussex County Council and the people that we support. Have a good day.